Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, I don't have a damage up. Like at all. I, I have not had a single damage up this entire run. Okay, I'm not gonna reset or anything. Because at this point, we're at like a 5 win streak. I might as well see how long I can get the win streak going, right? Uh, that sucks. <laughs> I saw someone in, uh, in Discord, not not our Discord, but uh, I think it was the Isaac Discord, say that Lilith is more boring and harder drowsy pill than Jacob and Esau. Thoughts? Yes or no? I thought they were crazy, but I don't know. Their reasoning? It's basically like Jacob and Esau, except that it's harder to aim and you get less DPS. No, no. Yes. <laughs> okay, what's your argument then? I got mad. I'm not even gonna lie. I took the bait. I was like, ain't no way you just told me that. Sent. Ball of bandages. Actually, we're gonna make a bandage girl at this point. Let's go angels again. Actually, no, we should be going devils, right? I discussed this. What am I doing? A new file has devils that are better. Why am I going angels, bozo? I can get a knife, a brimstone. I'm about to unlock incubus. Devils are better. Sarah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. No, okay. Now we got a Lilith run going. Immediately. No way you're telling me that this is worse than Jacob and Esau. What is bro on? Uh, we go inside here, right? Oh! I want to die. No! Even if I didn't get hit in that big room, I wouldn't have been able to take it. I'm pissed. Ow. Okay, that's a- that- okay, that- That's a situation where Lilith does suck, to be honest. But only specifically Mullabooms. Uh, I, I will probably actually use Box of Friends here though. Bit of a scary room. I, I effectively do have homing, to be honest with you. So that is kind of nice. Our damage output is crazy good. That really helps. These are good items. I know we don't have knife, but I don't even care at this point. We have really good stuff going on right now. This is actually a good run. So watch. Three, two, one, left. Three, two, one, down. Easy. My girlfriend only knows Lazy Matman as Mr. Belly. Wait, your girlfriend only knows me, the person, as Mr. Belly, not the item. So whenever they see a, a video of me and their re YouTube recommended, they're like, Oh my god, it's Mr. Belly. <laughs> Lazy Manlet, how dare you. I will fight the game. I will get my win streak. Do all bosses have meaning and lore? Uh, are we talking all bosses in general or final game bosses? Pretty sure all like end game bosses, mom, it lives, delirium, the beast, they all have lore. Delirium? Delirium is easy. Delirium is basically Isaac's life flashing before his eyes, before he suffocates and dies. That's what delirium basically means, right? And that's why he, he flashes into a bunch of different bosses that you've only seen on the run. That's why he can only turn into bosses you've seen on the run. Wow, that's lucky. What's the lamb lore? So lamb is actually Isaac. A lot of people don't understand. People are like, Lamb, that has to be Jesus, right? That has to be God. But no, it's actually, it's Isaac. Ooh. I'll do this just for maybe Magic Mushroom and take continue. But, but Lamb is basically Isaac. And it's about as simple as, you know, he's, uh, you know, he wants to defeat himself because he feels like he's evil. That's why, okay, when you walk into the Lamb boss fight, you know, he's in the middle and he's like on the ground and then you, he stands up and he starts floating towards you, right? While he's doing that, you can tell, like, if you freeze frame that part where he's just laying on the floor, he's doing the Isaac fetal position. Explain greed. Greed is a little weird. Either Isaac himself or probably his father has something to do with a lot of gambling and greed. And that's why there's a lot of greed messages. But, like, in reality, the reason why there's so much greed messages in Isaac is Edmund has said that greed mode was specifically made because he felt like him making DLC was being, like, greedy. Like, he was, like, cashing out on Isaac. That's why he made greed mode. So basically, he's just feeling greedy. It lives. It lives is Isaac again. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> it lives is just uh, Isaac as a fetus. He's basically just wishing he wasn't born. It's as simple as that. What about mom's heart? Probably a representation of the uh, fact that m I, he, Isaac feels like he broke his you know, mother's heart. And then after he breaks his mother's heart, he wishes he wasn't born, AKA it lives. Does it make sense? What about Hush? Hush is probably the hardest one. Beating Isaac in the cathedral is obviously you just beating yourself. Self-conscious, you think you're evil. The only boss that doesn't have an explanation, I'm dead serious, is Mega Satan. No, I'm dead serious. Because you know what? It's gone on record. Edmund has just said that it's just a video game boss. <laughs> but if you guys didn't know, Ouija board, that's good. Uh, wow, these are awesome too. Uh, the dark room is basically the closet. Uh, the closet where you unlock the tainted characters. 
you use the red key and you go to the closet, you ever notice how that closet is very purple and dark? And in the cutscene for Mother, it's very purple and dark and he gets locked in there. The dark room is the closet. The dark- the, the closet where you unlock the tainted characters has existed since Rebirth. I want that so bad, I gotta get a bomb. What about Beast? Okay, here's my theory. This is something I've never told anyone. It's my personal theory. What's the chest? Ba okay, okay. This I can explain. You going through the entire game is basically just Isaac imagining this game. He's just imagining that he's gonna go all the way to the chest, right? But in reality, what's happening is he really is suffocating in the chest. Isaac dies. There's no way to win this game, technically. Imagine some bitch. <laughs> so my theory, right? But the you know the beast ending, which is technically the final ending? You know, I put it in perspective and it doesn't really make sense. What is it? The beast ending is, oh, it was all just a, a story by father. So he here's my theory. I think the true ending of the game is not the beast. I think the true ending of the game is Delirium's ending, which th again, thematically makes sense. This stuff, look at the post-its. All the post-its are just little marks, including the beast. The only one that is a special mark, Delirium, which makes the entire post-it bloody, right? Like this is supposedly the final ending. I'm pretty sure this is the final ending. So in my opinion, what happens is this ending happens where you can hear Isaac's throat kind of croaky because he's been abused for a bit and his dad is telling him stories. Then his dad leaves, then he gets locked in the chest and he dies, which is way sadder. <laughs> and for that reason, I think it's the actual ending. Like, okay, how does Isaac die in Delirium ending and then he's alive in the mother ending? Of course they're not in order, right? So you gotta make your own order. I do have conjoined. Bumbo? Isn't Bumbo like Isaac's dad, technically? This is also one of the reasons why I think his dad is greedy and there's a lot of like slots and arcade machines in Isaac because Bumbo is a stand-in for his dad and Bumbo likes money, right? They're just kind of- This run is crazy good, by the way. I've just been talking and ranting to you guys, but it's crazy good. Yeah, so the end of Bumbo, uh, Isaac's mom gets mad and throws away the game. That is Bumbo. So I- uh, Bumbo is a, a, a prequel to Isaac, right? So what happens is Isaac is playing with his father. Uh, his mom goes crazy and throws away all his possessions, which is what happens in the intro. Isaac is constantly abused. His dad leaves and then Isaac suffocates and literally dies. The end. Now really completely decomposed into a skeleton, but it's tied to the soul. It can't leave. Does that make sense? The, the lost and the soul are the same thing. No, they are the same thing. The loss, it goes Isaac, then Blue Baby, he dies, right? Then he goes to the Keeper because Blue Baby decomposes into the Keeper, it's all dried up. And then this is the soul. Then it turns into Forgotten. The Forgotten is the skeletal remains of the Keeper, but the soul, the Lost, this is the Lost, is tied. It's tied to Isaac, it can't leave. So the reason that's important is because of... And so basically the idea is that Isaac's soul is stuck on his body like the forgotten and so he's stuck in purgatory that's the end of isaac he doesn't ascend to heaven he doesn't go to hell that's why isaac's story is incomplete that's why edmund has said that he will make an isaac too because the end of isaac is that he dies in the chest and he goes to purgatory he's left wandering purgatory it is delirium ending. This is why I said this: the, the delirium ending is the final actual true ending. Cause this is about as clear as it gets. Isaac suffocates, he turns into blue baby and then the forgotten. And there you go. That's him. He's left wandering purgatory because his soul cannot ascend. That's why the forgotten literally has a soul chained to the forgotten. Thank you for your wonderful thoughts. You're welcome. When a video of Isaac's story, if this, if this gets like a uh, good enough of a run, I'll probably turn this into a video. I haven't thought about that too much. I feel like the tainted characters are just like, I mean, like obviously visually they are just more abused and they come from the dark room, which is what well, we, we've established that the dark room uh, and the closet and the mother ending where he gets shoved into the closet are all tied together, right? So it's probably just him envisioning an even messed up character coming from the closet where he gets kicked in by his mother. Can you tell us your computer specs? I think I have a 3060 RTX uh, 10700. Windows thingy. I <laughs> forget. I forgot. Bob lore? Uh, I don't think there's much for Bob other than maybe his dad was named Bob. That's all I can- that or like it's his uncle. Can we talk about how many tears I'm shooting on screen? Jesus. Oh my lord. Hey that's good. I needed uh, oh, 
And then Dogma is just uh, Christianity on the TV. <laughs> Isaac is, uh, uh, when you fight Dogma, you just fight, I mean, you just fight Christianity. Right? You fight Dogma. We're not gonna hit Hush at the screen. Wasn't that the whole point? The whole point was to hit Hush. What am I doing? No! Oh my god, I'm so good at this video. Oh, I'm so good at the game. Actually, Jesus, I'm nasty. Okay, fuck, oh, god damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Goat head baby. We got a devil. It's pretty bad. Some people may take Rotten Baby, but I don't think it's worth. I think I'd just die if I did that. Maybe a black heart? Okay. Well, we got nothing else to do but try. There we go, that helps. Black heart? Okay. A hey, drowsy pill? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Not worth it. Oh my god. Acid baby. I got so many damn babies. Oh my god, it's Parasite, guys. We'll be fine. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. Oh my god. God damn. Amnesia. Alright, we'll be fine. We're gonna be fine. You missed a rock. If this is a crawl space, I will gift you a sub. That's what I thought. Definitely a crawl space on that one rock you missed. I got bad news, I'm sorry. Alright, so this is a lot of tears on screen. And this is actually not the best because I cannot tell which one are mine. If you can tell which one is mine and which one is like blue baby, I'd love to know. I think we have holy light shots from the buddy in a box, which is good. Okay, that's scary. I mean, at that point, I guess I may as well try and fight Valerian, right? Okay. That's, that was a little scary, but we got it. No shot do I beat Valerian, but I'll try it. Oh, wow, we did it. Hey, only one hit isn't bad. One hit is not bad. Incubus! I can fight Delirium. And we know that we're not trying to unlock the Polaroid or the negative today, so... I'll try it. <laughs> I'll try it. The Shop Rocks. I'm gonna be real with you. No way the Shop Rocks have anything. Fight Delirium. I will, of course. I'll try it. This run is so bad because I can't tell what I'm supposed to be doing. And that's the genuine truth. Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys could tell, I don't have a damage up. Like at all. I I have not had a single damage up this entire run. I just beat Hush with base damage again. Like like last stream, like yesterday. Which is cool. But when it comes to beating Delirium like that, uh, that's a little bit of a different story. Hello Blast Assist, please don't jump. I can't even see what I'm supposed to be dodging, so don't jump at all. Thank you. Diplo! Uh, not actually bad. Maybe. First time on screen. Now is time to show me how good you are with no broken bills. GL. Thank you. You should have watched yesterday's stream. I also beat Hush with base damage. Now, I'm not gonna freak out because I just got hit and I'm low on hearts. But I did just see a drowsy fill. I do need to complete one more. No way. Oh! I don't know how that happened to complete. I was gonna say I need to complete one room for uh. Oh my god! For Box of Friends to- <gasps> To recharge! I pull through! I always pull through! I pull through. I'm Matt Man. Me! I pull through. We're taking the pinky eye. Uh, yeah. Now we are still guaranteed to get hit by Delirium. Not because I can't dodge, but because our speed is so low that we will get Telefrag. Where is he? Why'd you turn into Mama? It is at this point, I mean, like, I can't dodge anything. It, it, uh, it's just, it's a Hail Mary. I can try my best, but even when he's in his base form and he has no armor, I'm dealing no damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus. Sorry guys, I, I have to focus. Wait, I just realized I have cancer. Hold on, it's winnable. I have cancer. I have newfound hope. Where are you? I'm coming right at you. Come here! Come here! Let's go! You don't doubt me. You do not doubt me. I would have actually beaten that with the health that I had. Well, the fortune teller. A GG. Euthanasia, baby. Delirious. God damn it. What an ugly unlock.
Uh oh, is that Matman in the outro? You know what that means. It means I'm streaming right now. Third Dead God, baby. As soon as I upload this video, I am streaming. Let's go ahead and get some tainted characters. Come join. Woo!